Hi, it's Katrina. From valuable treasure sold on the black market to fossils that may tell us more about our past, here are 10 ancient rare objects found underground. Number 10. Viking Treasure In 2015, two metal detectorists in Western England struck gold, literally. They discovered an immensely valuable Viking hoard containing gold jewelry and coins, as well as silver bars. The items, which date back over 1,000 years to the 9th and 10th centuries, are estimated to be worth millions of pounds. But greed got the best of George Powell and Leighton Davies when the men decided to ignore the Treasure Act, which requires people to report metal objects suspected to be over 300 years old, and instead sold the pieces to private dealers aka the black market. The law caught up to them and the pair were arrested on theft and conspiracy charges. Powell was sentenced to a decade in prison, while his co-conspirator received an eight and a half year sentence. If the men had followed the procedure dictated by law, they would have received rewards up to half the monetary value of their find, meaning that they would have been millionaires. But that apparently wasn't good enough for Powell and Davies, who instead will now be spending years in prison. Only a few of the objects that the duo sold were recovered, including just 30 out of 300 coins. The loss of these artifacts tragically denies not only researchers, but society in general an opportunity to learn more about a unique period in British history. That history belongs to everyone, and the UK is actually quite generous with rewards. Gareth Williams, curator of early medieval coins and Viking collections at the British Museum, summed up his thoughts on the case in a New York Times interview stating that these men have not just stolen the objects, but they are stealing our history too. Number 9. Clay Caskets Many, if not most, ancient Egyptian human remains were buried in sarcophagi. But in February, archaeologists working near the Mediterranean Sea and the Dekalia Governorate of Northern Egypt discovered 83 graves of people who were buried in clay coffins. The majority of the burials date back to the first half of the 4th millennium BC to the civilization of Bhutto, or Lower Egypt. Three of the graves date back between 3200 and 3000 BC to the Nakata III period, an old culture even by Egyptian standards, and an unusual time for clay coffins in the region, according to Mostafa Waziri, Secretary General of Egypt's Supreme Council of Antiquities. At the time, People of means were typically buried in wooden coffins or mud-brick tombs, while the poor were simply placed in a hole in the ground. Additional artifacts found at the site include oyster shells, handmade pottery, and two bowls containing coal, a popular eye cosmetic that the ancient Egyptians used as their trademark eyeliner. Numerous artifacts dating to the more recent Hyksos period between 1630 and 1523 BC were also found, including ovens, stoves, mud-brick building foundations, pottery, stone vessels, and semi-precious and stone amulets and ornaments. The search is now on for more! Number 8. Treasure Trove of Gold Coins While performing pre-military national service in central Israel, two teens recently unearthed a treasure trove of gold coins dating back 1,100 years. Discovered in a clay vessel in the city of Yavne, the cache of 425 coins dates back to the 9th century, when the powerful Islamic Abbasid Caliphate dynasty ruled the region. At first glance, the teen boys who found the hoard thought they were handling a jar full of thin leaves, only to realize, upon second glance, that they had stumbled upon something far more valuable. I mean, who wants a jar full of leaves? The coins are made from pure 24 karat gold, making the discovery truly exceptional, since gold dating back this far was often melted down and reused by later civilizations. Based on modern gold prices, the hoard would be worth around $52,600 today, but its historical significance drastically increases its value. Whoever owned the gold could have afforded an extremely luxurious home in an upscale neighborhood, but who this person was remains a mystery. The person who buried this treasure 1,100 years ago must have expected to retrieve it, and even secured the vessel with a nail so that it would not move. Israel Antiquities Authority archaeologist Liat Nadav Ziv and Eli Haddad said in a statement, Most of the coins consist of gold dinars and cuttings, which were used as smaller currency denominations. One of the most unique pieces found in the hoard is a 9th century gold solidus minted in Constantinople by Byzantine ruler Theophilus, 
and it's the first ever coin to be excavated in Israel. The discovery may offer valuable insight into the continuing economic relations between the two regions, who are often fighting, as well as the little understood Abbasid Caliphate. Number 7. Porpoise Grave Archaeologists were nothing short of baffled when, while excavating a building in September 2017, they discovered the deliberately buried remains of a porpoise on Chapelle Dom Hue, a small island off the west coast of Guernsey, an island in the English Channel. The remains date back to medieval times when people regularly butchered and ate porpoises for food. So why was this one given a proper burial rather than simply tossed into the sea, which would have been a much easier disposal method? Radiocarbon dating suggests that the animal was buried between 1416 and 1490, although determining its exact age is difficult due to its severe state of decay. The timing does match up with the island's archaeology, as the site was found near a monastery. It is quite the mystery what was going on here at the time. Archaeologist Dr. Philip de Jersey theorized that someone butchered the dolphin and buried it in salt to preserve it, or that a monk who wasn't supposed to have the animal respectfully interred it, or that the burial was religiously significant in some way. The fact that it was buried so carefully and given what looks like a proper burial is what is so strange. The Jersey told The Guardian, it's the slightly wacky kind of thing that you might get in the Iron Age, but not in medieval times. The perplexing situation became even more bizarre in 2018, when archaeologists discovered a human skeleton with a badly damaged hand near where the porpoise was found. Found about 10 meters away, they spotted a toe bone sticking out, and then the rest of him. He was given a Christian burial as well, although no one is sure yet who he might have been. Number 6. 4,000-year-old skeleton While performing excavation work for a wind turbine in Brandenburg, Germany earlier this year, archaeologists found the 4,000-year-old skeleton of a woman posed in an unusual crouching position. She was likely buried sometime between 2,500 and 2,200 BC and was not placed in a cemetery but rather in a pit near a settlement. The woman was laid to rest on her right-hand side, with her knees and arms pulled in toward her chest and her head facing east. This was a common burial position in Neolithic Europe, a time when hunter-gatherer societies transitioned to agriculture. The discovery could help answer questions about the spread of cultures and the development of mankind, Christoph Krauskopf from the Brandenburg State Office for the Preservation of Monuments told the national network Rundfunk Berlin Brandenburg 24. Several mysteries surround the fascinating discovery, especially since there were no grave goods buried with the women to offer clues to her identity, culture, or lifestyle. Further analysis will hopefully yield some definitive answers to experts' questions, including the skeleton's exact age and how old the woman was when she died. Number 5. Ancient Bronze Coins In late 2017, archaeologists working near Tokyo unearthed the largest antique coin hoard ever discovered in Japan. The fascinating find was made at the Arai Horinochi archaeological site on the island of Honshu, among what scientists believe are the ruins of a medieval samurai pavilion. Contained within a two-foot-wide clay pot, the bronze alloy coins had oxidized for 400 or more years during their time underground, turning them a distinct bright blue-green hue. This is called verdigris, and it's the same type of encrustation, or patina, that covers the Statue of Liberty. The treasure trove contained around 260,000 coins dating back to the first half of the 15th century, during China's Ming Dynasty. As one of the last major civilizations to develop its own coinage, Japan relied primarily on coins imported from China at the time. The first 70 coins researchers studied encompassed 19 different types and were minted in China and Japan, and they are incredibly valuable. Included among the oldest coins in the vessel were Kaigen Tsuho, minted in 621 AD, and one of the earliest Japanese coins put into circulation, Genpo Tsuho, dating back to 1078, and a Raku Tsuho made in 1408. The 260,000 coins in the jug are likely worth 26 million yen to 30 million yen in today's Japan, said medieval economic history expert Keichi Nakajima, who was part of a team that studied the hoard. But their historical value is much higher. Number 4. Ship Buried on Land when drought hit Nash County, North Carolina last October, a father-son duo named Tim and Ross Fisher noticed pieces of wood and steel appearing from the ground at the former site of a gold mine. The pair, whose top hobbies include gold prospecting and searching for fossils, bought the 14-acre swampland property six years earlier, 
hoping to discover something valuable left behind by the Portis gold mine that once stood there. That sounds pretty fun. But they weren't expecting to find a buried ship. The ship is believed to be an early 19th century vessel called the Robinson Gold Dredge, which was shipped in pieces to North Carolina by train. Might not be as old as the skeleton in Egypt, but anything over 100 years old in the US is kind of old. It was assembled in Nash County where it was used to search for gold before ultimately being abandoned. According to records, the ship is 94 feet long and 32 feet wide, with a 7-foot deep hull, the elder Fisher told ABC 11. His research also showed that it's incredibly rare to discover a wooden hull dredge. The vessel appears to be remarkably well preserved, with some pieces even still bearing its original red paint. The Fishers are working with the Army Corps of Engineers to safely excavate and preserve the ship. Number 3. Roman Plants In October 2014, metal detectorists in Wiltshire, England's Vale of Pusey found eight Roman copper alloy vessels containing what looked like worthless plant material. Thankfully, they didn't clean the pots, which were actually filled with ancient plants and pollen dating back 1,500 years. The people who made the discovery wisely contacted Richard Henry, an antiquities official who commissioned an investigation into the artifacts. While the pots represented a rare discovery, they were not deemed valuable enough under the Treasure Act for the government to seize ownership of them because they are made from base metals. Only 30 late antiquity copper alloy vessel hoards have ever been found in Britain, and the finders got to keep them. They donated their floral contents, on the other hand, to the Wiltshire Museum, where they were carefully handled by experts. Normally, such old plant matter would have decayed by now. The pot's contents were preserved by airtight pockets that were likely unintentionally created when the vessels were stacked atop one another, as well as copper salts that the plants absorbed. While the plants are powdery and less than spectacular looking, they are microscopically identical to when they were originally buried sometime between 380 and 550 AD, near or during the Western Roman Empire's collapse. At the time, it was common to bury these types of containers for safekeeping from Anglo-Saxon raids. It's unknown, however, why someone packed the vessels with plants. They may have used the knapweed flowers, buttercups, pinules, hay, and other flowers and plants as packing material, like styrofoam. Hard to say. Another possibility is that the plants were a votive offering of sorts, in other words, an appeal to higher powers for protection. Given the pot's location along the former boundary between Roman and Angle territory, this theory also makes sense. Number 2. 10 Million Year Old Teeth In 2016, scientists discovered two primate teeth in northern Europe, dating back to between 9 and 10 million years ago. This is a few million years before the accepted date of 7 million years ago, and it sparked worldwide debate, with people claiming that we needed to rewrite human history. Some people argued that perhaps humans evolved from Europe and not Africa. These claims generated plenty of hype, but are sort of deceptive and misleading, as National Geographic pointed out in a 2017 article about the teeth. So what is going on? Excavated in Eppelsheim, a prehistoric site near Frankfurt, Germany, the caramel-colored yet well-preserved canine and upper molar are the first fossils of their kind to come from the region in 80 years, after World War II destroyed much of what was there. The teeth resemble those of some extinct African relatives of modern humans, according to the study. Study leader Herbert Lutz explained in an interview with ResearchGate that they are unlike any others ever found in Europe and Asia, but that it's unwise to jump to conclusions. We want to hold back on speculation, he said. What these finds definitely show us is that the holes in our knowledge and in the fossil record are much bigger than previously thought. It's a complete mystery where the individual came from and why nobody's ever found a tooth like this somewhere before. What this doesn't mean is that the tooth's discovery should prompt researchers to re-examine humanity's African origins, Lutz explained, as one thing stands clear amid the discovery. There is overwhelming evidence demonstrating that modern humans came from Africa. The goal now is to find out more about these early ancestors in Europe and see if any more similar fossils can be found. Number 1. Wealthy Minoan Burial in October 2019, the Greek Ministry of Culture and Sports reported the discovery of a rare ancient tomb belonging to a wealthy Minoan woman on the island of Crete in the municipality of Sisi. The small coffin-like stone grave, known as a cyst, contained a fully intact adult female skeleton, as well as numerous valuable objects including a bronze mirror with an ivory handle, a gold-beaded necklace, and bone and bronze garment pins. 
She was likely an elite member of society, based on the obvious displays of wealth she was buried with. Such burials are rare on Crete, and had only been found in the cities of Chania and Canossus prior to this discovery. Situated along the island's northern coast, Sisi is home to a strategically located monumental complex, which was sandwiched conveniently between Crete's maritime and land trade routes. Considered the birthplace of high culture in Europe, the Minoan civilization flourished from around 3000 BC to 1100 BC. Some believe that this is where the myth of Atlantis came from. The culture was noted for its writing system, extensive trade, cities, and labyrinth-like palaces, but it collapsed for mysterious reasons. Thanks for watching! Which discovery was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to give this video a thumbs up for more and remember to subscribe if you haven't already. See you soon! Bye!